We'll be going through and removing the trucks on our own, along with the people associated to it. This is the message that we've been given from the people that are in charge, and this is what we are handing off to you. Clearly, the most important thing is that this is done in a safe manner, in the most, the most efficient manner. You guys are all, you guys are all here to support your livelihood. Mm -hmm. We all support that. You know, we're doing a job too. Yeah, and the worst so thing, the worst thing for you guys is to end up having a truck seized or impounded or forfeited to the crown because of what's happening here today. It's not what we want to have happen. So for the last four days, these guys have been working to try to get the same message across to you, to get everybody moving on their own, making the right decision so that this thing happens in the best way for you guys moving, moving forward. I think it's pretty clear nationally that the message that you're trying to get across in one way or another has been, has been given. Everybody knows what's going on here. And now it's just a matter of what do you do next? How long can you stay? Forever. Well, we we're going to stay. Two weeks and we will, yeah. Yeah. we will stay. We will stay. We will stay. We can make this easy too yeah. for you guys yeah. is by you guys working with us. Yeah. Like the, we're, we're in this together. We all want the same thing. We want this stuff done. Yeah. The no whole mandates. mandates. They have to be finished. And we're not here to, to cause issues. The minute restrictions get taken down, we'll leave. We we'll get leave. that the message has been delivered, we but get it hasn't it, yeah. helped. Like everything's still the same. That's right. Nothing this whole changed. media thing it's that we're just a little fringe minority, there is more and more happening. Just so you guys know, you guys this like is not a small fringe minority. Okay. What's your name, sir? My name is George. George. Yes. I, I appreciate you bringing that out and mm -hmm. talking on behalf of the group. Right. It's, you know, we've got to have somebody that's willing to speak up and mm -hmm. talk. I get that. That's why I'm here today, mm -hmm. is to be the one on behalf of the RCMP that's speaking up and talking to you guys. Right. What we have been told to impart upon you is that today is the day that we're opening the highway. And the reason that that's happening is because we've been instructed to do so by the people that are in charge of us. So when will so you when guys you stand say, up for us? When you like, say are that, you guys not tired? Like, do you not have families? Absolutely. Do you not have families that this affects? Yes. Like, this is the time where we all work together. We need you guys to make a choice as well today to stand with us to make this change. We have mm -hmm. so much going on right now. We have so much support right now. You guys can decide to say F you to your superiors and say we're not doing this anymore. It's happened in other police forces. You know, it has to... It, okay, I'm you guys, stop you there. Well, There's I know that. an option that we have. Well, yes, you do. Yes, yes, yes it is. Do. You have the option. You have the option. That's the one choice you do have in Canada. Do it right now. Yeah, exactly. You have the option. You'd rather come in and strong arm, no negotiations. Yeah, exactly. That, that's it. That's not an option. You say you want to take us by force. You can try. 